Hey everybody, I'm Eric from TurboSound. Thanks for joining me here today at Music Studios. I've got the IQ12 speaker here with me today and I wanted to go over some of the crossover features that are built right on board the speaker. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so it's important to utilize a crossover, especially when you're using this speaker with a sub. Not only does it make the top speakers perform better since they don't have to reproduce that low end frequency, it also rounds out the sound when you're using this with a subwoofer, but there's some internal settings, uh, including, well, we're specifically gonna be talking about crossovers uh, that you can set within the speaker's DSP. So let's go ahead and get into that. So first we're gonna go over to the process button here and we're gonna select crossover, which is the third selection from the left. Okay, so there's a couple of uh, presets that you can go ahead and select. Uh, either you can not have a crossover on and you're just using these alone, but if you're using these with the IQ15B or the IQ18B, we've got two presets in there for you. And they'll go ahead and adjust that crossover accordingly depending on the size of subwoofer that you're using. But if you wanted to go ahead and you know get precise with it, you can go ahead and hit the user define mode here. And uh, the frequency that you can uh, select from is from 75 hertz all the way up to 400 hertz. So you can go ahead and specifically select the frequency that you want uh, according to maybe the room that you're using the, uh, the, the top speakers and the subwoofers in uh, to make it sound a little bit more balanced. Okay, so right below the frequency selection here, you've got a phase selection as well. So that's great to utilize if you have any alignment issues. You can set it to either zero degrees or 180 degrees out of phase. So there you have it. It's just that easy to get into the DSP and set a crossover for your top speakers, especially when you're utilizing them with a sub. Uh, that way the subwoofer can go ahead and produce those low end frequencies and the top speaker doesn't have to waste the energy to produce that low end frequency that the subwoofer is doing. Again, it rounds out the sound and it makes it a little bit more tighter sounding. Hope you learned something in this video. For more in-depth tech specs, please be sure to visit turbosound.com. Thanks for joining me here at Music Studios. See you next time.